Hello viewers, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today we're going to be treating probability. Now, what is probability? Probability is a branch of mathematical statistics basically concerned with drawing conclusions. That's uh, probability, drawing conclusions or inferences from occurrences. From occurrences or experiments involving uncertainties you just have an experiment like shooting a missile um, is it going to fail or succeed and all so that's uh, involving uncertainties so in probability there are basic terms used so I'm just going to go through them to define them. Now, we know what is a sample space. What's a sample space? A sample space is just a set whose elements represent all possible outcomes of an experiment, usually denoted by S. Now, for example, what's the sample space of a single throw of a die? That's a single throw. throw of a die we have this sample space to throw a die i don't know if you know what a die is um if you know this game called a ludo that's this the the cube um the cube like a small box just like a box for a cube is what we know as a die and to throw a single die these are the sample space that's the elements the possible outcomes of that throw of a die we're going to get a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. That's a single die. Now, another example is the tossing of a coin. We are all familiar with coins. That's the kobo, either the penny, the pens, and all. So, the sample space of a tossing of a coin, you either get a head or a tail now if you toss two coins what do you get two coins two coins a sample space would be we either get a head head a head and tail or a tail and head or a tail tail this is what we would might have also another example is the launching the launching of a missile the sample space is either a success or a failure so it's either the missile fail or succeed so these are some basic terms that we would see mostly in our probability questions in our exams so another thing to look at is the general formula for probability we have to know the general formula although there are different events which we'll look at in this in this video now the general formula for probability of an event happening can be given by a numerical value known as x where x is equal to what the number of required outcomes over the number of possible outcomes so so and there's there are some specific things you know you have to know about the value of x the value of x can never be it can never be greater than one or have a negative sign it can never be greater than one or have a negative sign and when the value of x is one it means that the event is certain to occur that's a success certain to occur and when the x is equal to zero 
it means it is impossible for that event to occur that is a failure it will never occur that's what it it, it means and for any event the probability of success plus failure is one any event the probability of success plus failure is equal to one that is p r x plus p r x bar is equal to one and also the probability of failure that's it to get the probability of failure of nothing happening you just take this to the other side where p probability of failure is equal to what one minus the probability of success so these are the key things that we need to know about the general formula for probability we also have to know some probability laws probability laws now the probability laws we have are the multiplication and addition laws they are used when the multiple when multiple draws or choices are made in a particular order that's when you have two particular events coming together like selecting uh, cards of ye red yellow or blue or picking something from a particular tossing a, a coin and a die so that's a, a compound event so for multiplication you only use multiplication when the events are combined by and and both that's when you use that's when they say what's the probability of picking a red ball and a yellow ball so you do the probability of the success multiply by of, of picking a blue ball and multi, uh, and multiply by the probability of success of picking a yellow ball now for the addition law you only you combine with addition when you have a or or an either so when you when we see some questions when you see or this a yellow ball or red ball you you use the addition operation now we're going to specifically look at independent events that's this our first um, part of, of probability so we're looking at independent there are different events there are dependent events in probability and they are also mutually exclusive events compound events and other types of probability so we're looking at independent events now and what are independent events they are events where the probability of one does not influence the other as you see the word independent it doesn't influence the other e.g tossing two dice it can never influence the other another one is throwing two coins none can ever affect affect the other another is throwing a coin and a die so these are examples of independent events which we're going to see questions from it now and so and the formula for independent events where you have p the probability of a and b occurring it is simply p a multiplied probability of a multiplied by the probability of b and also the probability of i at uh, a or b occurring is what the probability of a plus the probability of b then minus the probability of that's a and b occurring and b together occurring so this is a formula for independent events we're going to see questions on it in our next video uh, thank you for staying tuned to destined to win tutorial please like subscribe and share this video Bye.